Hello and welcome to this short overview video on the features and workflows of using ID8 Explorer to increase the accuracy, reliability, and health of your Revit model. My name is Richard Taylor, Technical Evangelist with ID8 Software, and thanks for joining me today. ID8 Explorer supports many model exploration and auditing workflows when working on a Revit building model. These workflows are supported in part by ID8 Query, ID8 Warnings Manager, the Navigate and Explore tabs, plus the filtering and sorting features of ID8 Explorer. We will take a quick tour of these today. ID8 Explorer is a true model browser, which shows you crucial information about every instance of every element within your Revit model. The built-in Revit project browser is not intended to display or help you navigate through these elements and relationships. Rather, the Revit project browser is a partial list of potential elements that may or may not be part of your Revit model. ID8 Explorer, on the other hand, is a true model browser, which shows you every instance of every element within your Revit model. You can access ID8 Explorer from the ID8 software ribbon panel. You can also right-click and add ID8 Explorer to the Revit Quick Access Toolbar. By default, when ID8 Explorer first starts, it is showing elements in the active view, but you can easily change the display to show the entire project. ID8 Explorer shows an element count to the right of each node within the results area of the dialog. When I choose to sort by category, ID8 Explorer will display the category, the family, and then the type, followed by each instance. By selecting a specific instance and double-clicking, you can zoom to that element. Selecting the checkbox to the left of the instance will place that element within the Revit selection. I can select on the top level family type to select all instances of this operable curtain panel. Using the Revit property palette, I can then swap out the clear glazing operable panel to a sliding panel. ID8 Explorer will immediately update to show that we have added 44 sliding panels to our original amount of 4 to bring the total to 48 sliding curtain wall panels. As you can see, ID8 Explorer can remain open and active while I continue to work within Revit. Our default option is to show the Revit elements by category, but ID8 Explorer allows many more options to easily display the information. Let's switch our display to Level, and we can display elements by their level assignment. It becomes quite easy to see that a barn door has been placed on the top of footing level, which is incorrect. Once an element or a series of elements have been selected in the ID8 Explorer results panel, you can use the Revit selection box command to isolate those elements in a 3D view. This can be very helpful to review geometry. Again, we can see the level mistake and make the correction in the Revit properties palette. Once the editing is complete, I can turn off the 3D selection, fit the view, and return ID8 Explorer to display by category. ID8 Explorer allows you to easily audit your Revit model. You can quickly find and delete problems such as DWG or CAD files. You can search, find, and revise elements while complying with your company standards. You can do all this as you work and design in Revit with ID8 Explorer always open and ready to assist. As we have mentioned multiple times, ID8 Explorer is a model browser that shows every element and instance of the Revit model. There are many elements that ID8 Explorer can display which are not shown within the Revit project browser. A great example is CAD links or CAD imports. We can review the 173 CAD imports within this file and we quickly realize that there are two identical instances of the same import. By double-clicking to open views, we can see the first CAD import is associated with a detail view. However, when we click on the second CAD import, ID8 Explorer tells us the CAD import is hidden within its associated view. We can have ID8 Explorer open the view and automatically turn on the Reveal Hidden Elements display mode. Then we can quickly see the CAD import is a mistake and that should not be part of this view. We can select the CAD import and delete it directly from the ID8 Explorer dialog. A confirmation check will allow us to review exactly what is going to be removed before any deletion. I can then turn off the Reveal Hidden Elements display mode and I can be assured my view is clean. Within the results window of the ID8 Explorer dialog, 
There are three tabs. The Explore tab is the default, but we can switch to the Navigate tab to display all legends, schedules, sheets, and views. I can type Concrete within the search window and ID8 Explorer will display only those items that match that criteria. Here, I have a cell detail that I can double click and open the view. Since it already has been placed on a sheet, I can right click and open the sheet where the detail appears. I can return to the Explore tab and it remembers all my settings. Of course, I can use the search tool here as well. In addition to the display, sort by, and search tools, you can also use any Revit filter. ID8 Explorer ships with several predefined filters. A good filter to review is the Audit filter. This will show elements that should be reviewed on a daily basis for optimum performance. We can choose the Lines category and review both Model and Detail Lines. When we review our Detail Lines, we see many line styles that don't match our standards. We can easily select on the non-standard line styles and switch them to a preferred office standard. Here is another great example of something you just can't do in Revit. Revit does not support selecting on a detail line and then choosing all similar lines either in the view or the project. ID8 Query is a powerful search, find, and filter tool within ID8 Explorer. Not only does ID8 Explorer list every instance of every element by category and type, you can then use ID8 Query to refine your selection on almost any Revit property associated with the selected elements, allowing you to look at your selection at a granular level. In this example, I was interested in finding all in-place families, both in the main model and any design options, since the usage of in-place families could represent a deviation from my company standards. Many times, there is the need to search or review elements based on their Revit properties. The ID8 Query tool within ID8 Explorer allows you to search on any Revit type or instance parameter associated within the category or categories you select. In this case, I've selected the dimension category, and I want to search on all project dimensions that have a suffix added to the dimension string. ID8 Query will display all the current suffix additions, and I can select on the one I want. Let's say I want to change this max suffix to a verify in field selection. ID8 Explorer will show the current selection in the results tree and I can double click to open up the view and then edit the dimension string override. ID8 Explorer now includes detailed information about Revit warnings, providing superior quality control by giving you the flexibility to define and manage only the warnings you deem appropriate. The ID8 Warnings Manager gives you the power to understand the type of warnings within the Revit project as well as the specific elements that contain warnings. The built-in Revit Warnings dialog does not allow you to dynamically interact with the elements and warnings while working in Revit, thus making reviewing and fixing warnings time-consuming and difficult. By selecting on the Warnings tab, you can quickly review the current warnings within your Revit model. You can color code them by level of severity. For the time being, let's say this duplicate instances warning is moved from a high severity ranking to a medium severity ranking. Let's look at the remaining high level ranked warnings for floor geometry overlap. As you have seen in other ID8 Explorer modes, we can double click to review the elements in the current view. Since it's hard to see the individual floors with so many other elements, Let's use the Revit Isolate command to show just the two floors that have the geometry conflict. Once I isolate the two floors in the 3D view, it becomes easy to see where the geometry conflict is located. I can click on one of the floors to modify its boundary to avoid the conflict. Once completed, ID8 Explorer removes the warning. Notice one of the alert icons located to the right of the display dropdown has been removed. This indicates there are no high-ranked warnings within this model. By selecting on the Settings menu, I can manage the second alert icon that will display if the warnings are over a certain threshold. By changing this threshold, I can increase the number of allowable warnings so the alert icon does not display. This dialog also allows me to set the default rankings for warnings. Decrease the time you spend on model management, increase the accuracy and compliance of your models, and eliminate errors by effectively managing your Revit model warnings. All with ID8 Explorer and its lightning-fast data discovery and manipulation workflows.
Be sure to review our in-product and online help files for detailed information on how to make the most of ID8 Explorer, including detailed information on all of the features of ID8 Explorer. For more information on ID8 software, including online training, recorded videos, and upcoming events, visit us online at id8software.com. I'm Richard Taylor, and thanks for watching.